I thought that when I passed, I would see pass in big green letters in the middle of my screen. I thought confetti was going to be shooting out like boom, boom. It's nothing like that. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here if you don't know me my name is nandi and i create nursing and lifestyle content here on youtube so as many of you know i graduated from emory university hence the t-shirt <laughs> i graduated from emory university's accelerated master of science in nursing program in december of 2022 and then i took my boards and i actually passed my boards as of april so i took them at the end of april april 27th to be exact and your girl passed her boards okay super super excited about that also, can we take a moment to pause and brag on my alma mater real quick? Okay, let me stand up so you can see the tea. Look at the t-shirt, period. I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm gonna go ahead and brag on Emory. Emory University's Master of Nursing program is currently ranked number one, not two, not three, number one in the nation right now. So super proud of my alma mater. And you know, I just had to, throw that in there real quick but anyway guys in today's video as promised and as discussed in my previous video I am going to be talking to you guys about everything I did to study for my boards I'm gonna be talking to you about the materials I use I'm gonna talk to you about the pros and cons of the materials I use the cost of the materials and just overall tips and tricks that I would recommend and things that I feel like will be very beneficial to you so disclaimer before we start the video of course everyone studies differently everyone learns differently so i cannot promise you that what i did will exactly work for you however i do feel like that i learned a lot throughout the process of studying and i feel like i do have some knowledge that would be very helpful for you guys and i wanted to share it was very important for me to make this video and let me explain why <laughs> When I was doing my research prior to even studying for this exam, you guys, I was online, I was on Google, I was on YouTube, I was searching for other people's advice and input on how to succeed and pass this board's exam. And honestly, for the pediatric primary care, because that was my specialty, pediatric primary care boards, I really felt like I was unsuccessful. Um, it's not a lot of people talking about this exam, you guys, at all. So I'm kind of a straight shooter. I feel like when it comes to important things, especially with exams, I'm very direct. And I feel like if I have the ingredients and I've learned some things, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna tell you point blank period, <laughs> pros, cons, um, things that I think should have been better with certain materials, etc etc i'm gonna give you everything i know okay i'm giving my all i literally created a packet do you guys see this all for you guys typed out notes on just everything that i wanted to share with you guys i didn't want to miss anything i took this very seriously okay but anyway enough with the chit chat enough with the intro let's go ahead and get into this video it's definitely going to be a long one so if you need to pause it right here get you a snack get you something to drink because i'm going in all right so of course you know i have my notes here if you see me looking down it's just because i don't want to miss anything so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that i want to talk to you about is time frame so I would recommend giving yourself about five to eight weeks to study for this board's exam, okay? I, I let's go back and talk about NCLEX too. NCLEX, I studied in past NCLEX in four weeks, four weeks. Granted that I was in a dual program and Emory gave us a time frame, like we had to pass our 
and Clex exam by a certain point. So that also didn't give me a lot of wiggle room there, but four weeks. For the PEDS primary care boards exam, it is a very specific exam. I literally wrote that down. Very specific exam. And by specific, I mean, I feel like the test focus is a lot on details, small details. I'll give you an example. They may ask you, oh, what organism is the main cause of a UTI in children? You have to know that the answer is E. coli. Like if you read that in a book, something as small like that in a book, it's important, of course. But if you read it, you probably would read right past it a lot of times, most likely. Um, in comparison to like signs, symptoms, those types of things. So yeah, very specific, very detailed. So I just feel like it's best to take your time with studying. You know, definitely doesn't have to be eight weeks. It depends how long you're studying, if you're studying every day, what your study schedule looks like. But I definitely would say a minimum five, six weeks for sure. Don't rush the study process. I literally put that, do not rush the study process. Study hard, study as long as you need to, study until you feel comfortable with the material and then you'll be good. Let's go ahead and get into the materials, okay? Materials that I use and the pros and cons of each. The first thing that I used, Barkley. So if you've been watching my videos throughout my process, you saw towards graduation, or I think it was like the week before graduation or that same week, whatever. My school actually paid for us to take a Barclay live review course, and they did that for every single specialty, not just pediatrics. So for Barclay, after we did the live course, we had the option, we already had a Barclay account set up, and we had the option to go ahead and purchase the actual like live stream um, audio. And I'm an auditory learner. So I did purchase that. Let me see. It cost me $59.95. And then I re-listened to the entire two-day live course three times, like in its entirety, three times prior to taking my board's exam. Let's get into the pros. The pros of the Barclay course I put was that it will give you a good foundation. Good foundation as like the basics when it comes to some things, right? And I also found for someone like me, it was beneficial if you enjoy mnemonics um, because I feel like it was helpful for you to learn about or just sort of like keep in mind and memorize about certain disorders, diseases, certain things that you needed to know. So I feel like in that way, the course was helpful. Con, and I put major con here. Barkley and the review course is not all inclusive. Okay, this is me being very honest with you guys, and there's nothing against you know Barkley or anything like that. But I found that it just wasn't all inclusive, which makes sense. You know, it's very difficult and hard, and probably almost impossible to fit every single thing that you learned in the entirety of your masters into a two day live review course. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so. I went ahead and put down on my sheet here. So everything, emphasis, everything that you need to know for your board's exam is not included in that review course, okay? I'm being very honest with you guys. Do not solely rely on just that review course to pass your boards. Instead, think of it as a supplement. Think about the materials they give you as a supplement. You have to use that along with other things. You have to for this exam. So they gave us, we have a, and I bought it here to show you guys. And I also showed this in my video. So this was the book they gave us that was included when we went to the live review course. So I would use that book and go along with the live audio. And I did that, like I said, three times prior to taking my boards exam. But you also need other things to go along with that. So let's get into the other things that I use in addition with the Barkley audio. I use the handy dandy purple book. 
and I will show you guys this is what it looks like it is the pediatric nurse practitioner certification review guide primary care okay and you can buy that book off of Amazon it costs $87.90 let me tell you something right now that book read the book read the book cover to cover don't skip a chapter don't don't mm -mm. read the whole book <laughs> and i'm sorry to tell you because yeah you can see like it's high like read the whole book okay so I want you to read the entire book and then I want you to answer all of the questions at the end of each chapter. There are 18 chapters in the book. So what I personally did, I would read a chapter a day. And sometimes they did have some chapters like the Derm chapter that's longer than others. And in that case, like for those chapters that are thick, thick, I would split that chapter into two days, if that makes sense, okay? The pros of the book. The book is all inclusive. This book have everything that you need. Every single thing. It talks about every single thing. Okay. The cons of the book. It is a long, long. I hate to say it. It's going to be a long, probably boring read. Okay. Um, there are no pictures in the book. It's nothing to spice it up. Like, you know, you a kid, you need something to just look at that. It doesn't have it. It's straight words. Okay. <laughs> it is straight words. Um, yeah. Just read it. I'm so sorry. You have to. You have to. Um, I also put on here, please note. So when I purchase the book, it comes with a little code. So it comes with a code um, inside of the book when you get it. And the code gives you access to their online um, question, like question bank, just specifically for the book. Okay. Those questions are going to be the same questions that are at the end of every single chapter within the book. One thing I did notice because I chose to go ahead and do the questions online, like I wasn't answering the questions at the end of the book and like circling and everything in my book. For some reason, there's some disconnect or an error with the online questions. I picked that up. Some of the questions, the correct answers are not marked as correct. Like it'll say that an answer that is incorrect is the correct answer. I don't know what that's about and I don't know if that just happened to me only but I'm just telling you just to be aware of that if that is something that's across the board they really need to fix that because as a student who is studying it is it can be very confusing um, and you don't want anything to sort of knock your confidence because there'll be certain things you'd be like okay I know this but they're marking it as incorrect but they do have the correct answers also in the back. Like when you do the answers online, it'll tell you what the correct answer is. And like I said, sometimes that correct answer will not be the correct answer. But they also have the correct answer that is the actual correct answer, if that makes sense, in the book described after you finish all of the questions. So long story short, if you get that cold, don't even bother with the online um, questions. I wouldn't bother with it just in case that's an error that's across the board. Just forget about it. Answer the questions from the book. Just go ahead. I would just write your answers out on a piece of paper. Because if you're somebody like me or you want to go back and re-answer questions again, you don't want to see what you already previously marked in your book. So I would just answer the questions on a sheet of paper so you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, you'll be good with the questions. And then, like I said, the correct answers are described at the end of the chapter after the questions in the book, okay? So, personally, I only read through the entire purple book one time. I got two fingers up, one time. <laughs> one time, and then I did all the questions at the end of each chapter one time. So, pretty much what I would do I would read that chapter that day. I would answer those questions after completing the chapter that same day. 
boom that's what i did with that let's move on to the next category which i have as question banks okay they told us this while studying for NCLEX and I would say it's the same when studying for your board's exam. Just like they tell you questions, questions, questions. Do practice questions, okay? Personally, I ended up using the Roche Review Question Bank. We actually use Roche throughout my program and they paid for us to, did they pay for, I think they did pay for us to have Ross. Yeah, it was like a group thing because of a cohort. So yeah, we use it a little bit throughout my program. Um, but if your school does not, okay, I wrote down the prices for you guys. If it does not, the basic 90 day plan costs $269. And that includes 1300 questions. They also have a 30 day plan for $249. But I went ahead and put that I would just recommend getting the 90 day plan just to be on the safe side. I did every single last question. 1,300 questions were completed. I did all of them, okay? When I made my study schedule, I told myself that I would do like a minimum of like 40 to 50 questions a day but honestly i even put that here honestly it varied though that's me being honest it varied based upon how i felt that day the studying process it can be very draining and once again like you do want to study hard but also listen to your body and there were some times i just i couldn't sit through 50 questions if i could sit through 10 questions that day 10 questions were done but i did um try my best to do some questions every single day, if that makes sense. And I just made it a goal to complete the entire question bank. So all 1,300 questions before my test date. Okay. I put, remember, just like they say with NCLEX, make sure you are understanding why you got the specific questions you got wrong, wrong. So don't just go ahead and be like, oh, got that wrong next like <laughs> i personally suggest writing out rationales to those questions that you get incorrect and do that for every single question for some of the um banks and stuff the rationales can be a little long so i'm not saying write out those entire essays that they provide you with or whatever but really focus on the bolded material um, those things are really important that you need to just jot down notes about, okay? You don't have to write out the whole essay. Don't do that. Um, but that is very important because you want to make sure that you are learning and really truly understanding the material, especially the ones you got incorrect. Pros. I put that um, the pediatric exam is very specific. Um, and Ross Review does a good job of going over important topics or things they will ask you during your board's exam. I do feel like that, okay? The cons, I put that the rationales can be very long and drawn out like I was describing. So pay attention, once again, to the information that is in bold. And one thing I did like about Ross Review is if you scroll down, not for every single question, but for majority of, of the questions, they'll provide you with a red box at the very, very bottom. And it's called rapid review. And in that box, it will give you the most important information that you need to focus on. Still read everything, but also pay attention to the rapid review boxes at the end. They are extremely helpful. The next topic that I have on here is about practice tests, okay? So as you guys know, I did the Barkley live review course and with that and with my account, we had access to the Barkley diagnostic readiness tests and they have four of them total, four on their website. So if your school pays for you to go through the Barkley live review course and the first, um, they call it DRT, Diagnostic Readiness Test. The first DRT is free and included with the live course, okay? 
but if you want to purchase additional tests, you can purchase them for $29.95. I put the pros of the DRTs. The questions are short and straight to the point, which test question style wise, I felt like were very similar to my boards. And what I mean by that is the questions are not extremely long. Like you're not gonna have a question that's like, a paragraph is what I'm saying. The questions are very direct. Either you know the answer or you don't. Like it's, it'll be like a one, two sentence question most of the times. Um, so I feel like in that aspect, Barkley was good practice for that. So you can get used to that test question style. Cons. As mentioned, Barkley isn't all inclusive material. So when you're taking their DRTs, they are testing you specifically about the things that they included in their live review course, right? Nothing more. And so, yeah, if it's not all inclusive, you know what I mean? You can take their practice tests um, to make sure you sort of master their, their material, but you still have all that material in that purple book is not you know what I mean you have a lot more to go through so basically I would recommend doing one or two of the practice tests just so you can really get used to the direct questioning um, and that question style type for your board's exam but nothing more is needed honestly if you do one of them that's fine um, if you want to do two that's fine as well but i don't feel like it's necessary to do all four of them. Let's move on to the second practice test that I used, which is the actual PNCB. So the people who make the board exam questions, I did their practice tests. I'm gonna take a moment of silence for these practice tests because they are the holy grail do you hear me they are the holy grail and i learned this later on okay they have a drill practice exam which includes um, 50 questions for 25 dollars but the rationales are not included with the drill practice exam then they have two additional tests called PC 601 and PC 602. Hopefully they don't change the numbers, but basically just scroll down the website. You'll see, you just wanna make sure that you're doing the correct practice exams for the primary care boards exam, okay? They include 75 questions, each with rationales and cost $50 a pop. So a total of all three will cost you $125 do all of them do all of them <laughs> like i cannot stress this enough you want to do every last one okay period the pros i put that the questions are similar to boards of course because they are the same people that make the actual exam major pro I thought that it was very helpful overall, but especially for anticipatory guidance questions. So you will see when you're doing the practice exams that some topics sort of repeat themselves. Like some things you'll notice, it'd be like, oh, okay. I remember them asking something about this in the other practice exam. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention to this because obviously to them, those topics are of importance or they wouldn't be including them in these practice exams okay so wink wink nudge nudge i'm telling you right now do them okay the con the only con that i did write down was that i of course dislike the fact that the drill test did not include rationales i'm just like come on please just 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 include the rationale it would just make our lives so much easier but that concludes the practice test section. Let's move on to additional materials that I ended up using for my boys exam. One, Quizlet. Quizlet is free. <laughs> Quizlet is free. So I ended up using a PNPPC, 
review deck that one of my friends kindly blessed me with okay from my program and it goes over pretty much everything like pretty much every topic that you need to know that is really really important I feel like it does a good job and what I mean by that like all the systems you know you'll have some derm you'll have some MSK so it goes through all the systems it has 339 cards in there I went over the entire deck okay about five to six times prior to taking my boards exam yep and it will be linked down below just like I'm gonna link all the materials including the purple book I'm gonna link everything down below but I'll also link this um, Quizlet and I just found that of course sometimes you're gonna get tired of doing practice questions you're gonna get tired of, of doing um, Ross review so when this happens Quizlet is a great alternative to still go through material and you know still be actively learning and testing yourselves I literally put all pros no cons with that quizlet quizlet deck be sure to do them they'll be linked down below <laughs> all right so that pretty much goes over all of the materials i use so just to summarize number one purple book read the whole book front to back side to side cover to cover highlight we're gonna do that okay answer all the questions at least once Number two, I use the Barkley Audio. I listened to the live review course about three times prior to my exam. Number three, I did Ross Review and then I did all the questions that were offered, which were 1,300 questions. Number four, Barkley Test. I really just did one of them prior to my exam. Number five, the PNCB exams. I did all three of them. Then lastly, I used Quizlet and I went through that 339 card deck about five to six times prior to my exam. So the total cost for everything, $571.80, okay? Let me tell you something. <laughs> when your family and friends are asking you oh you're graduating what do you want as a gift do you have um I don't know do you have like something set up that you want things people to buy you you know how people set up like links like grad stuff link the only thing you need money you need money that's just me being honest that's literally I told all my family and friends I was like if you want to provide me with something money is what I need I use all of my graduation money <laughs> oh my gosh I use all of my graduation money on things to study for my boards and like I said earlier, really wasn't a lot of information about the board's exam. So I really spent over $571.80 because I did purchase other things. But as I was studying, I just found them not useful. So I didn't include them in this video. Okay. But you need money. Hands down. You don't need nothing else. You need money because even after you pass your boards, you know, you have to apply for your license and other things that still cost additional money so just had to mention that okay alrighty so in this video I also wanted to talk about other things that you can look into if you're interested I do know two of my classmates who ended up paying for the nap nap review course that's an option for you you can look into that I also use the board vitals question bank I use it a little bit okay I use it a little bit I would recommend it if you want additional practice questions after completing Roche um, but you don't have to I found that board vitals questions they're very challenging which is good I know sort of like for NCLEX they'll tell you like you know the more challenging the better but I do feel like 
brush is a little bit more just better aligned um, for the peds boards for primary care at least what i did like about board vitals i loved their rationales i thought they had great rationales and that was very beneficial while studying so now i just want to go into just some overall study tips and things that i would recommend for you guys number one i said give yourself a break when needed don't overdo it okay study hard but take breaks you will definitely need it because i promise you by the end i was burnt out take your breaks okay number two i put some things for pediatrics you just have to know and unfortunately you just have to memorize it it's not unfortunate but you know what i mean you just have to memorize some things for example vaccines milestones and even throughout my program like my teachers and stuff will be like yeah like know your milestones and blah 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 and i mean some of them i knew but <laughs> some of them i knew but i didn't study them as hard as i should have at the time okay so if you have the extra time and you're in your program just be very familiar with them get as comfortable with um, vaccines and milestones as best as you can to save yourself some time in the long run so for the vaccines and my milestones i actually just ended up making some index cards flash cards for those and that's how i would sort of test myself when it came to those two things number three i said make yourself a study schedule i personally printed out from like google just regular blank um, calendars and I would sort of break up everything that I wanted to do every single day within that calendar and I can show you guys yeah it's nothing even personal in here so I can show you guys but yeah this is my calendar okay just as an example and that was April yeah that was April that was the last month of my <laughs> studying um so that's sort of what I did and then I'm crazy so I color coordinated I would just I had different colors for different materials so like for my purple book I would write out what I want to do in purple on my calendar but pretty much stick to the schedule as best as you can but if you need the day off take the day off okay now let's get into some test taking tips number one and i will say one of my classmates called me and she told me to do this atiana thank you girl <laughs> because it is brilliant and it's not something that i would have thought of without her telling me to do okay they give you for this particular exam about 10 to 15 minutes and i can't remember the exact time but it's at least a minimum of 10 i believe prior to the exam and they give you a demo okay on how to sort of navigate the exam where certain things are at this point in time and at this big age we're all pretty good with technology we're all pretty good with computers and test things and clicking around we're fine with that okay so utilize that time during the demo okay to brain dump at your test taking site they will give you um paper it's sort of like the laminated erasable paper at least that's what i received they will give you about three sheets of those two or three and they'll give you a little marker to write with and what I personally did was I brain dumped all the things that I did not want to forget or I just felt like, you know, cause you're testing, you get a little anxious. That's just normal. So anything I felt like was important, I just did not want to forget. I wrote everything down, okay? Personally, I used that time to write out the vaccine schedule. And then I also wrote out that time to use some um, information about like genetic things on the exam so write all that information out okay and you'll feel so good afterwards because you just know you know you know that you're not gonna forget it during the exam write it out and then go through the demo thing on the computer 
honestly, you can do that little demo in maybe five, three minutes. It's not that big. And you can even click through. You don't have to even go through the entire demo. You can click through and start the exam if you would like to. But I recommend just brain dumping and then going through the demo really quickly so you can know at least like, you know, if you want to highlight, if you want to flag, just those important details, okay? Test taking tip number two. So the pediatric, and I can only speak about my exam because of course that's the one I took. The pediatric primary care exam includes 25 experimental non-graded questions within the exam. I literally put on here, I hate this question. I mean, <laughs> I hate this exclamation mark. Literally your very first question on your board's exam could be experimental. Be mentally prepared for this, okay? Don't let it psych you out. That's why I just, I don't, I don't get it, but let me stick to my script. Don't let it psych you out. If you read the question to yourself and you're like, huh? Like, I didn't read this anywhere. I've never even heard of this. Just tell yourself in that moment that that is an experimental question. Answer it as best as you can, move on. Do not waste your time because this is a timed exam. Don't waste your time sitting there on something that you know you have never seen before. It's experimental. Move on, okay? Number three, flag the questions you want to go back through at the end, okay? So you do have the option to flag. I would flag things as I went, but I just went in order. I'm not a person that skips around and all that other stuff. I literally answered my exam one through whatever and just completed everything and flagged along the way. Number four, if you are unsure about an answer, focus on what you do know. I did that during my board's exam. Like some of the things that they were asking me about, which is why I was like, okay, obviously Barclay is not all inclusive because it was not in Barclay. <laughs> Like some of the things they were asking me, I was like, this was not in there at all, okay? So I literally would have to, in my head, like process of elimination, I'd be like, okay, well I know for this answer, they're talking about this syndrome. So it can't be that, you know what I mean? Just go through, focus on the things that you do know because you do know the information. You studied hard, you are prepared you know it okay so just use the process of elimination to select an answer okay number five like i said the exam is very specific one thing that other people from other specialties have pointed out to me as someone in pediatrics is the fact that in peds we do have um like key phrases um key things that sort of help us describe certain disorders or syndromes. So use that to your advantage, okay? So for example, I literally put, if you see cheesy, umbilicated core, think molluscum, okay? Like if you see barky cough, think croup. Certain key words, just pay attention to them and use those descriptions to help you get to the right answer. Also, I put on here, I wanted to describe to you guys what to expect when you do pass, okay? Because personally, I thought that when I passed, I would see pass in big green letters in the middle of my screen. I thought confetti was gonna be shooting out like boom, boom. Is nothing like that <laughs> it is nothing like that literally when you pass they literally have a sentence like in the top upper left hand corner in bold and I think it says congratulations or something honestly I was my I don't know where I was but I was so I don't even know. I was just so anxious during the exam. I didn't even read the whole sentence, you guys. I literally saw the last word in the sentence said pass. 
and that's all I need to see. I didn't, the, everything else in that sentence was a blur to this day. I didn't read it. I don't know what it said, but apparently it says congratulations, dot, 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 dot. And then it'll say pass or something like that in the very end of the sentence. So that is what you will see when you pass. Don't expect confetti. Don't expect green letters. Don't expect huge letters. The letters are literally like this small in the corner. That is what you will see. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But that was all of the knowledge and information that I wanted to share with you guys. Like I have said in this video a trillion times, there was not a lot of information out there on how to succeed on this exam. So I really felt like it was important to share with you guys and I really do hope that you found anything, something from this video that was helpful and that helps you get that pass, okay? I just wanna tell you guys that you can do this. Study hard, study hard. Of course, don't, you know, don't go too crazy, but definitely study hard. You can do it. Even if you have to do what I did and just cut out all distractions, cut out social media, Cut whatever it is you have to do, do it, okay? Get the job done and you'll be great. Then we'll all be nurse practitioners, okay? Board certified, period. And yeah, be sure if you think that this video will be helpful for any of your student friends that you know that are coming up and about to take their boards, please share this video with them. I would greatly appreciate it. And I also think that they would find it useful. So yeah, guys, I also want to tell you guys, I think I am going to add this video along with other videos. I think I'm gonna start a new playlist on my channel for just like other nurse practitioner tips tricks things i learned along the way so look out for that this video probably will be the first of that playlist but you know i'm excited about it i think it's gonna be great but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video if you have any questions um additional comments for me things that you want me to i don't know answer any questions you have for me just be sure to leave a comment down below you can also dm me anytime on instagram i'm very good about responding on there so dm me of course i'm here for you guys you got this once you pass be sure to comment down below the word pass so i know and we can all celebrate together anyway guys <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.